there is now a chance that Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse will not release in 2024. And this comes at us courtesy of brand new comments made by one of the voice actors. So let's talk about the status. So in case you forgot, the second film ends on a halfway point. It's a cliffhanger setting up the third entry and the final entry. So of course, when the film came out, we were still expecting that the next film was going to be relatively close. So less than a year was the expected release date. And then we quickly learned, yeah, we're going back to the drawing board for a while. And then we learned that they were way behind on everything. Well, recently, Jake Johnson himself, a.k.a. Peter B. Parker, talked a little bit about the upcoming film. And he told Cinema Blend that he's done no work on it. He has not seen or been called to record lines for anything in relation to this film. Now, it's not all doom and gloom because they're obviously retooling this thing because we know the last film was supposed to have a completely different ending, additional characters. It was supposed to be different. They changed a lot of elements in the final 12-week rundown to release the film with a lot of a crunch in terms of everybody work overtime to get this done it makes sense that they went back all the way to the start and they have to refresh what the third film was remove characters change concepts as we've heard and set up this whole um, expansion to the universe that's supposed to come that was supposed to happen after the first film but constant delays and a pandemic set everything back so i think if you realistically look at this it's not the biggest piece of worrying news but i do think it's it's pretty bad in terms of expecting a release this year i would say if we do get it it's going to be november december if they don't make it out then this thing's not coming out till next spring um just because it's going to be smart especially that sony doesn't have that many uh spider-man related films for next year and this year they already got three so what's the point of releasing a fourth one when you have nothing next year? So I'm saying they're 100% slipping into 2025, whether they want to admit it or not. It's just a financially smart move. And you got to think about your finances as Sony carries Spider-Man proudly displayed as their biggest money earner. But if you don't have a Spider-Man film coming out in the next three years, that might be a problem. 